All right, so in this problem, we are given a formula, and we want to see which of the following statements is true for our formula. Now, all of our answers are referring to B values that are negative 18 or negative 9. So let's plug those two values in to find two points and plot them on our graph. So our first point is going to be when B equals negative 18. And our second point is going to be when B equals negative 9. All right, so let's plug in negative 18 to our formula. We have A equals 0 0.25 or a fourth. This will be visually easier to solve. And so we have a fourth times negative 18 plus 4.5. Now, eight, negative 18 divided by 4, because when you multiply these two, you get a fourth times negative 18, which simplifies to negative 18 divided by 4. And when you simplify this, you get a negative 4.5. So negative 4.5 plus positive 4.5, we get a to equal 0. So our first point is 0 is negative 18 up 0 if the x-axis is b and our y-axis is a. All right, so let's plot this first point. We have negative 18 up 0, so that's going to be right around here. And now our second point is when b equals negative 9. So we have a equals 0 0.25 or a fourth times b, which is negative 9, plus 4.5. Now a equals negative 9 divided by 4, which gives us a negative 2.25 plus 4.5. Now when we simplify this, we have a equals a positive 2.25. So let's plot our second point. We have negative 9 up 2.25, which is going to be right about here. And now let's connect our two points. All right, so this is our linear function. And now let's take a look at our answers. When the value of b is greater than negative 18, so greater than negative 18, then a is negative. Well, this is incorrect because once we cross the negative 18 b value, all the a values become positive, and therefore a is incorrect, and le now let's move on to b. When the value if of b is lower than negative 18, so the opposite direction, a is positive. Well, we see again that once we cross the b value past the negative 18 on the left-hand side, then the a values all become negative. Therefore, b is incorrect. And C states, when the value of B is greater than negative 9, so greater than negative 9, then A is positive. Well, this is correct, because once we crossed this negative 18 to the right-hand side, then all the B values became positive. So once we get to this negative 9, all the B values, all the A values are already positive. And therefore, C is going to be the right answer. And let's quickly see why D is incorrect. All right. When the value of b is lower than negative 9, so lower than negative 9, then a is negative. Well, a will become negative once it crosses the left-hand side to the negative 18, but this whole area here between the negative 18 and the negative 9, all those values give positive a, a values, and therefore d is incorrect, and c will remain our final answer.